Fans of the baddies know that things can become ugly very quickly. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. During the franchise reunion, Tesseki is said to have knocked out Diamond the body's teeth in a particularly gory fight that occurred recently within the reality TV show Circle. This came after a great deal of fighting and clowning on social media, which even developed into a boxing challenge that is more hilarious in retrospect than anything. It seems like the gloves came off. Nevertheless, Diamond recently used Instagram to put an end to the feud, suggesting that she regrets what transpired here. Just because I didn't mean any harm in anything I said online and because it was all jokes to me doesn't mean it wasn't received with harm. Diamond's apology to Chris Sean Rock's sister and others began. I can't determine how someone took in what I said or how it made them feel. So for that I have to take accountability. Sorry to everyone that I've trolled on a TV show or online after a TV show. I can always admit when I'm wrong. Sorry Nat, sorry Seki and anyone else I put in my hit list. Diamond continued. I'm not built for this my here too big hope we can all put it past us and move on. And to be clear I do not want to come back to Zeus. I appreciate the platform they put me on to reach the people that I have reached. I'm forever grateful to Zeus Network I did what needed to be done. I got the cloud I was looking for now y'all stream my music. Then, Tesiki seemed to reply to this message on Instagram with a somewhat surprising comment, I accept your apology. Meanwhile, Natalie Nunn had posed with Diamond's tooth after the Tesiki fight to mock her. What happened to the pose for me post? She mockingly captioned her video with the tooth. Diamond the body you're amazing but your dentist sucks her teeth was falling out left and right, you just had a whole video up what happened. It's down now. Please stay tuned baddies Caribbean. I'm sorry. I have some Casa Legos, babe. Put this lady over there. Reality TV personality Jocelyn Hernandez is accustomed to being involved in drama. Generally, she has been in the center of verbal or physical altercations on every show she has appeared in. But because of this, she is now a must-watch on television, no matter the platform. And y'all gonna leave her stay right here? In my face. You got me kicked In my up. face, she right here. Hernandez was actually just featured on the Ant T podcast, where hosts Tia Kemp, Tokyo Tony, and Carlissa Saffold interrogated her. There seems to be a fresh, intriguing perspective to be gained from this program every single week. I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass. I'm gonna beat your ass, motherfucking, like motherfucking asshole. Well, the feud between Hernandez and the three co-hosts over the weekend added intrigue to the show. Hernandez ended up saying something because he did not like the way the questions were posed during the event. She advised them all to stop asking questions because her main goal was to have fun. But if we can't, if we can't really see here and have a good so time, she say oh, make a fun. She You'll notice that she eventually managed to get Saffold removed from the program. You can tell that Saffold was furious with Hernandez. Bad in the energy. Video. And she's all oh, in my ear God. with that nasty <laughs> breath. She refused to leave the property even after leaving the set, staying behind the scenes. I'm kicked off my own show. Hey. Tokyo then charged in and yelled at her to go lost, but Saffold refused to back down. Hey. Go on, I'm still no, why don't you just go downstairs? It goes without saying that there was a lot of turmoil on set. But from the perspective of the fans, Saffold is correct. She has every right to stay on the set if she so desires because it is her show. When I get pregnant, I'm deleting only fans. You're not gonna get pregnant. Yeah, yeah. As anticipated by fans, Tokyo Tony, Tia Kemp, and Carlissa Saffold continued their antics in the most recent episode of the Ant T podcast. Additionally, Selena Powell, who was their most recent guest, mentioned removing only fans after she becomes pregnant during their talk. Yeah. Don't bring no baby to this world fucked up like you are. Get some help. All the women laughed a lot about it, so perhaps this didn't come off as aggressive to them as it would have to other social media users. I think you're trashy, <laughs> oh, <laughs> filthy, <laughs> nasty and dirty. However, Selena Powell's contentious dating past is the reason Tokyo Tony made these remarks about her. Powell's purported current boyfriend Clay Graveson of Love is Blind, who asserted that they are not dating and that she used him, is the most recent instance of this. Selena actually is a cooler person, he told Rory and Mao. I went to Belize with another female actually, and then I came back and I was going to actually shoot some content, with Selena. It was really kind of innocent, bro. I was being used. She got me, she won. I didn't know who CP was until everyone started sending me her YouTube information. Clay Gravesend's mother said of Selena Powell. It's very interesting that some men will lose everything thinking that the apple is good but it's a forbidden choice. The deceiver uses old tricks to attack and destroy. Clayton Alexander, you know that Jesus will allow things to occur. He's still trying to get your attention please surrender to him. 